Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves just outside the small town of uh, South Boston in beautiful Virginia. In today's video, we have a sovereign citizen who uh, apparently parked his uh, RV on somebody's private property and ended up getting it towed. Not only that, but apparently he's a real law expert too, considering that he spends most of the video trying to... Uh, educate the officers on the law and uh well he doesn't do very well considering he gets himself arrested for his own stupidity and uh guess what there is a uh little bit of a surprise at the end of this video as to his uh own status as a lawyer that's right just stick around and find out is he a lawyer is he not a lawyer i mean who knows so then let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show. Okay, what you need help with? Well, days ago, my RV was stolen from a lot off of... Uh... Let's get one thing straight here, dude. It was towed. It wasn't stolen. And let's find out why exactly it was towed. Vaughn Street, uh, okay. across from Carter Field, next to the White Pump House. Okay. Uh, is there a superior here, actually? Uh, well, we're all on level playing field, so what, what's your... I'd like to speak with the superior directly. Okay. I want to speak to your... All right, well, you're speaking to me right now, so what, what do you need help with? I would like to speak with the superior directly, sir. I want to make sure my constitutional rights are respected through this whole process of the ordeal. Okay, well, okay. I'm here to protect your constitutional rights. That's what we're here for. Okay, absolutely. Right. So who is the supervisor, though, just so I can direct my attention to the proper channel of authority for no my supervisor here. No supervisor. Okay. So, my RV was primary residence and my primary dwelling, okay. my sole domicile. It was taken a few days ago. I immediately picked up the phone and called and filed a report Grand Theft of South Boston Police Department, which Officer Perkins responded. He refused to provide any incident report or any investigation, any information regarding my RV and a call to be removed from private property. With that being said, uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've, I'm a lawyer, I've been studying. Oh, you've been studying for a whole weekend. Bravo, bravo. Now, exactly what were you studying? Because I know it wasn't law, at least not the right laws anyway, as you shall soon see. This whole weekend, I, I have notes, so if you'll just give me a moment to go through this. Okay. Um, I just delivered a certificate of service to the tow yard to put them on notice of a violation of a federal crime. Oh yeah, this part I will spoil because he essentially handed them a paper saying that he's going to arrest them because they stole his property. Oh yeah, he even attempted to contact the FBI over this whole thing. And they told him they don't deal in civil matters. Boy, what a moron. Kind of makes you wonder about his status as a lawyer. I'm acting as a private attorney general right now, investigating this matter and also filing the report. <laughs> oh, gee, Mr. Attorney General, uh, how did you acquire such a prestigious and high-ranking position such as that? Again, it makes me question your self-proclaimed status as a lawyer because, you know what, you're not an attorney general. You are even acting in the capacity as an attorney general. You are a bloody moron. I didn't get as far as requesting him to retract from the crime that he was an accessory of because he asked me to vacate the property. Okay. So I removed myself immediately telling him not to go anywhere because he would be under arrest. Now, because he moved my sole primary dwelling and, and residence into the county jurisdiction, this would also be seen of a crime 
this is your jurisdiction as well in regards to. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Yes, okay. sir. No crime has been committed. Yes, you sir, it has. And look, if you can let me finish that. talking first, uh, and then you can talk. All right. Is yes, that, sir. That's how this, this is gonna work. Prison of a felony. Okay, right look, uh, you gonna stop talking and Go listen ahead. to me. Okay. No crime has been taken. You parked your vehicle on a lot owned by somebody else. You can't park it there. That means he so has a legal. Right. Code of Virginia says you cannot leave any property that belongs to you on somebody else's name. Can you furnish me that code? I don't have to. I'm telling you. Listen okay? here, sir. With all due respect, this is why I requested a supervisor. Uh, this is Miss Prison of a felony refusing to take a, uh, a report in regards to the felony. And uh, you are acting as an attorney practicing law unlicensed right now, which is also a crime. Dude, uh, I think that's you at this point because you've claimed to be a lawyer on several occasions. You're the one who is uh, most likely practicing law without a license. And, well, you're not a very good lawyer to begin with. Especially since you tried to make a citizen's arrest, as you admitted just only moments ago. Not very bright. In fact, that's going to be one of the things that leads to his arrest, is the fact that he did that. And now, you are here to solely take a criminal report. In regards no to criminal that, report, nothing criminal has taken place. Hold on one second, sir. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm trying to educate you. Now, the Supreme Court had ruled that it is your sole duty to take a criminal report in regards. And if I am falsifying any information in regards to this report, you will be liable to arrest me. Now, with the state law and federal law, considering I'm gonna educate you, not at one point at any point in time was I made aware that I was trespassing. Therefore, it is a crime in regards to the removal of that vehicle from that property because nobody had made anybody aware that a crime's been committed. I'm going to elaborate for you in a clear instance. One second, sir. No, he, he's talking. You stop talking. Okay? That's how I that really works. wanted to speak with the supervisor so I didn't get gang-banged by a bunch of people who we're didn't study law. Right. Do you know the person that owned the property you parked on? Uh, it's not owned by a private individual. It's owned by a private corporation. Did that corporation give you permission to park? And you just destroyed your own case right there, dude, because you just said the magic words right there, owned by a private corporation. Therefore, whatever they say goes on their property. If they don't want your RV parked there, then, well, you can't park your RV there. For example, Walmart used to not care about people parking their RVs overnight in their parking lots. But I know a couple of years ago, they uh, stopped that. They, they posted signs, do not park your RVs in the parking lot overnight. And you know what? It's their property. They're a private corporation, open to the public. They can do that, you bloody moron. This property has been generally open and accessible to the public in the neighborhood for generations, as I can testify myself to that. There when you are there? no posting signs whatsoever that would deem any portion of that property not open and accessible to the general public. One of the public buildings, the private buildings. Sir, this is Miss Prison of a Felony. If you're refusing to take a report, this is why I seriously wanted a supervisor to come down here and respect my constitutional rights. What is your name, sir? Deputy Weddle. Deputy Weddle. Weddle? Okay, and your Deputy name, Moore. sir? Deputy Moore. Two O's. Deputy Moore. I'm can sorry? you spell that for you? Uh, no, sir. I can I can enable that from there. Sure. Uh, with that being said, Violations of U.S. Code and of the Constitution are as follows. Violation of the KKK Act, which is the Three Quarters Act. The KKK Act was an attempt to enforce the 14th Amendment right after the Civil War, after the slaves were freed. This really has nothing to do with your uh, vehicle being towed because you, are, your prop you have not been deprived of your property. You can retrieve it. Uh, if you go to the lot and pay for the uh, towing and everything like that. The RICO Act, the Homestead Act, 18 U.S. 241 and 242. The RICO Act uh, has everything to do with uh, 
organized crime. Nothing to do with what's going on right here, dude. Get it straight. What does the Homestead Act have to do with this as well? Because that's more about the government giving away land to settlers post-Civil War, you bloody moron. In addition, those two last sections are all about deprivation of civil rights, and you have not been violated at all. So get over yourself, dude. In an attempt to extort me for money when I have no contract with them, no contract, no notice, no contract. Therefore, that is a violation of 1961. Again, that has to do with organized crime. There is nothing going on here that is against your civil rights or anything thereof. I mean, you are not a lawyer, obviously. Call the FBI with also, the federal case. I did. I did. Okay. And they refused, claiming it was civil. However, that is another instance where they are... Sorry. Miss prison of a felony and practicing law without a license. They cannot tell me it's civil when I'm filing a criminal report with all the information in regards to such. And no Violation of Title 42, 1986, and also the Eighth Amendment. Um, so you're basically accusing these officers of dereliction of duty. Uh, no, they're not uh, in dereliction of duty. You led paint drinking soft hard. Go back to school. And as well, the Eighth Amendment covers cruel and unusual punishment, excessive fines and penalties, which there have been no fines or penalties or anything of that nature conducted here today. You are still just a bloody moron who thinks he's a lawyer. But you're not a lawyer because you're just some dumbass who did some uh, research over the weekend. And, well, you can't seem to do it very well either. So you screwed up on that part, too. The grounds that I have for this criminal matter are as follows. Uh, no, it's not a criminal matter. You are not to decide that, sir. You are not I the am, judge. You are here to take a criminal report and nothing more. No notice was provided report. to vacate. That was my sole home and sole dwelling and primary residence that was stolen. Okay, look, this is not a criminal Along complaint. Along with attempted extortion. Look, listen, don't the talk over me again. This isn't a criminal act, act so you can vacate the property, right okay? Occupy and possess and defend my sole dwelling. Who does on that? Immediately. Okay, I'm going to go talk to you. Yeah, do that. With that being said, I would request your supervisor well, where, where down your here park, immediately. Yeah. Please call your supervisor down here immediately. Well, he, he asked you a question. I asked you to call your supervisor. That's not one coming. It is your job to respect my rights and wishes, considering you are misprisoning felony right yeah. now yeah. and violating my rights, sir. All right. Sir, what was the We got on the phone. He's parked in the garage. 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 He's parked in the they are that, that, a criminal accessory, the and the evidence of the crime is here. The crime scene is here. It needs when to be handled accordingly. Well, I have to teach you guys because you, you guys, you have to teach me I do. You guys do not study law, and it's the equivalent to a kitchen hiring a head chef who's never peeled an orange or held a knife or entered a kitchen in their whole this ain't life. Got nothing to do with a kitchen. It absolutely no, does. Sir. No, sir. I yeah. gave you a reference in regards well, to how the similarity is there. Now you go ahead, sir. Okay. What do you have to say? The town of South Boston is the people that were, were responsible for towing your vehicle. No, they were not, sir. If they were, there would be a report number as far as an incident report, a call log report, and they would have paperwork in regards to such. If Officer Perkins conspired to withhold evidence while that RV was removed by a private he party, see he, he is that. also okay. involved and will be what, named as a criminal accessor. What he did, or he threatened somebody? But what I'm okay. saying is South Boston Police Department right towed your vehicle. Don't have it left property. the jurisdiction. Yes, it yeah. does. And I'm going to teach you about you this, sir. Teach me nothing. I'm not? Okay, no, you're are not. you too old to learn new tricks? Look, well, we're trying to... Okay. I still am requesting a supervisor. And one's not city. coming. You're going to tell me I'm refused the right for a supervisor to come and take a formal report seriously? Yes, because it's not a formal report. Under, this is not serious. This it's is not a criminal not serious, act. not a formal report, not a criminal act. No, sir, it you is not. You studied law yourself, correct? Mm -hmm. 
Did Come you take the bar, sir? Hmm? Did you take the bar? No. Did you, did you take the ball? I didn't have to take the bar. We did. Okay, so you didn't take the bar exam, and really that shows because you're a complete ignoramus when it comes to the law. I mean, come on now. You call yourself a lawyer, you're not exactly one to begin with. And uh, I do believe in a lot of states that, well, most states anyway, that you have to pass the bar to be considered a lawyer or an attorney. So therefore, you're the one who's acting uh, in a legal capacity when you have no standing to do so. And that much is clear considering I'm not a lawyer and yet I sat here and debunked every one of your talking points. So, well, uh, you're not that bright. Neither. Yeah, and that's a shame because you enforce law that you know nothing about, mm -hmm. equivalent to hiring a head chef who's never been in the kitchen in his life. We need criminal justice reform because you guys violate rights all the time, miss prison felonies. This is a conspiracy to deprive me of my rights. Because you don't know the law, ignorance is no excuse for not knowing the law. You all being sheriffs, you are, you are solely bound to make sure other officials are held to constitutional jurisdiction and law. Why don't you ask Franklin? What did he say? Oh, he said put him in handcuffs. I don't. 27, 25. You say put the rest of the subject? Ready? Yes, sir. And I'm not in agreement with you recording. Put your hands behind your back. Why am I being arrested? You're being under arrest right now, okay? What? I'm sorry. What? Why are you detaining me? We'll get to that in a sec. Why are you detaining me, sir? We'll get to that in just a sec. You're under arrest. Why am I being arrested? I'm not impersonating law enforcement officer. Go ahead, let go of your phone. You can't have that in the back of the car. Go ahead, release your phone. I'm not impersonating law enforcement officer. You served that man a paper down there that you wrote and told him he was under arrest. That's impersonating a police officer. I did not tell him he was under arrest. I said, stay right there. You're going to be placed under arrest. Well, you can't do that. So, uh, this man who uh, can't study worth a damn tried to practice law and ended up failing, and he also attempted to impersonate a police officer by uh, telling, them, uh, telling them that they were going to be under arrest for this so-called crime. Oh man, this guy was not too bright. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.